friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about how to install and set up for Selenium and Visual Studio for C Sharp. Okay. Uh, for this, we prerequisites is required for Visual Studio and Selenium. These are the two things we required. Okay. And for this, you can go ahead and Google search with the uh, Visual Studio downloader, and then it will uh, give the first option like here visual studio downloader and then it will give the first you can click on here it will launch into the community editor and uh, it will give for this uh, visual studio microsoft downloader for a uh, location and we can see three options community professional and enterprise community is completely free and professional is a paid version this is also paid versions okay and you can get it for this is a free and you can download it once you download and it will give you as a uh, it will download and it will keep into your uh, local download location okay once it is coming then you can click on double click on that particular uh, visual studio and then it will launch in this particular first window okay and click on continue then it will give you for this install uh, cases and you can click on now uh, you can wait don't click for anything okay once it is done and it will give you for this particular window and here we need to click on checkbox and install for this particular one and don't select anything not required for anything okay once it is done you can come back here you can see this is the installation location it will be there it will take some time to install for everything once it is done you can see for done installation and you click on ok then it will give you for three options after done, you can see for three options. There's a launching, modifying, and more options. Click on launch. And once it is done, then you can able to come into here. You can see for skip and click on the skip. And don't uh, sign in or create the code. You can just skip this one for right now. Then it will be asking for setup for your theme of your Visual Studio. You can choose for any version. And I choose for dot because uh, the video making time, we need to visualize. We need to showcase that is the reason I choose as a doc and click on start button. Once you click on the start button, it will uh, come back to here and we can need to create the click on new. Okay. And how it will be there. If you click on VS Code 2022 and it will launch you that this particular window. Click on new. Okay. And there is a search box in the top, search with the test, then it will give for a list of options. You can choose for third option that is n unit test project, n unit test project. Click on that and click on next. Okay. And here you can choose for Selenium demo. Okay. And you can provide for any kind of project name which you want. Okay. And then click on next. And if this one is by default, it will be a .NET 8.0. When you are installing Visual Studio, automatically it comes. Okay. In case if it is not come, just download it from the Google. Okay. Click on Create. Once you click on Create, automatically it will create your project and set up and everything. Okay. But you have to wait some time. Otherwise, it will not show for IntelliJ support. Okay, let's see now errors after complete build is happened, then uh, errors also gone. Okay, then uh, click on tools, click on nugget package and manage nugget package solutions. Okay, once you come into here, click on the browsers. Okay, once you get the click on the browsers, here you have to search as a selenium. Okay. Once you search the Selenium, it will give for list of options, but you need to choose as a first option that is Selenium dot web driver. Okay. And click on this project one and you can choose in case if you want to choose for lower versions, click on the drop down and choose for which version of you want it. Okay. And click on install it. Okay. As of now, I'm going to use for 4.23.0. I'm going to start for installation and applying this project. Okay, it will take some time to do for everything installation and everything because it will install for 
all the drivers and managers and weights and everything it is download and you need to store into your local. That's why it will take some more time to do all the things. Okay. Coming to here and you can remove this line. Okay. Here, whether it is installed or not as expected. How to check it? Then here you can use for iWebDriver. iWebDriver. Now it is not coming because it is still under progress. Okay. Why iWebDriver is basically uh, when you go for Selenium with Java, we can see for web driver and uh, driver creation. Okay, this is the format we are going to do. And while you come into the Shisha, then we need to use for iWebDriver. Okay, that is a naming convention. They kept it. Okay, they can use for capital I W capital B capital W. See now, web driver comes here. Okay. The first option it intelligent it will support you to keep gives that what are the options you have even you can see the description interface open keyway dot selenium i web driver defining the interface through which user control and the browsers okay web driver and driver equal to a new chrome driver okay that is my chrome driver see here there is a they defined as a class Chrome driver as a class. When you see in the my first video, I specify that I web web driver is basically an interface. Chrome is basically a class, right? They they are also they given IntelliJ also the information which is about the Chrome driver is basically a class. Okay, you can enter, close the braces, and the last you have to use for semicolon. Then only the closes happen. Now we are able to install perfectly for Visual Studio and Selenium. We are able to configure properly without any issue. And next video session, we can see that how we can able to do for running the browsers. Okay. Running and creating the first test case. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.